Hi everyone, welcome back. Are you an Open PLC user and yearning to add LCD display to your Open PLC projects? Worry no more. In this video, I will share with you how to create a Modbus LCD HMI and interface it with Open PLC. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Modbus communication with an open PLC based Arduino PLC can easily be achieved since the PLCs are Modbus slips by default. This will require us to program an Arduino Nano or Uno as a Modbus master, we will connect a 16 by 2 LCD to the Arduino Uno as shown in the circuit. This push button will be used to scroll through the menu on the display. This setup will be programmed with the help of a software called FL Pro. This software uses a function block to produce Arduino codes making it easy to use and suitable for this application. Okay, we create our Arduino Uno project. We select FBD. For this, we select Arduino Uno as our board and then we click on OK. We configure our Modbus. First, we need to configure the Modbus master. We select master RTU. We drop this particular point, go to the US at, double click on US at and select serial zero, click on OK. We now move on and then configure our board rate 115200 for this and now send the pin to zero. Okay, we now move on and select our sleeve, our ID is one, we click on OK. We now configure our quells. This is going to be our Q0.0. We click OK. We move on Q0.1. We click OK. We now move on and set our discrete inputs. I0.0. Click OK. And I0.1. Click OK. We now move on and then set up our input register. IW0. Our next address IW1. Okay, we do our holding register QW0 in integer and then QW1 integer as well. We create our screw button, we type screw and then we select the pin, pin 12 and then activate pull up and then debouncing. Okay, great. We now need to configure our display. We go to display and then drag our display onto our board. We select the display and then select I2C. Our address is 27. And then we give our constant value, which is our core status. And we'll display it on row one. We click OK. Position it correctly. And then copy and paste. We need to set this one up, which will display on row two. Is going to be our input which will display our call status. We bring the call addresses, position it correctly, and then we need a converter. We select a byte, a bit to byte converter. We drag two of them, and then we need a byte to string converter as well. Two of them. We now wire them up quickly. We then need to have a concatenation block. We need four inputs from this, so we select four, click OK, and then we specify display values, or let's say writings for this particular second row, which is Q0.0. For the first value and then q0.1 for the second value 
these are constant values we wire the inputs to it and then wire it to our display we now need to create a counter variable which is an integer variable okay so we bring the count variable and then we bring the screw button as well we select a counter and then configure it as an app counter with a maximum count of five and then start from one again okay we click on ok position it correctly and then wire the screw to the input and then the output to our count variable okay okay we drag our count variable to our second board and then we need a comparator we move on and drag a comparator onto the board we wire the counter to the first input of the comparator and then give it a fixed number one at the second output input sorry wire the output to our display values and then copy this portion of it to the second row which is going to form the display of our discrete inputs we change it to two we now change the constant display value to input register we change this portion to i 0.0, .0 and then this section as well to i 0.1 great we bring in the input data and wire it to the input of the byte converter. We are done with that. We copy it and only this section without the byte converter because this one we are dealing with integer. We change the address to 3, change the constant value to input register, and then we bring in the input register data, wire it to the input of the string converter and now change the concatenation section to IW0 and then IW1 respectively we now copy and then send it to our third board change this section to 4 and then change the constant to holding register we click OK and then change the concatenation section to QW0 and then QW1. Good, we bring the data in. We connect it to the input of the converter block and position them correctly. Great, we are done with our code. We need to verify we click on the verification everything looks okay we click on compile to start the compilation of our code we have our Arduino code we select the board in my case is com5 and then I click on the upload to upload onto the board uploading done we can see we have our input or our display and then the holding register everything is zero currently We move on and then create our logical program. We have our variables already created. I have outputs, I have inputs, I have the holding registers and then the input registers are created. Okay, good. We need to create some logic. We need to create a pause to count with a counter. So I need two timers. So this is my on delay timer and then I need an off delay timer as well. I get the output of my on delay which is T1 and then the output of my off delay which is T2. I need the input bits. This is my off delay T2 and it's normally close and then my on delay T1 normally open. I wire them up quickly I give them the preset time 1000 milliseconds for the first one and then 1000 milliseconds for the second timer as well 
grid, I need a counter to count the pulses generated by these timers. Okay, and output bits of the counter to reset the counter. And then a bit to trigger the counter to start counting based on the pulses. So this is the output from timer one. Okay, great. I need to set the maximum count of the timer. So 20 is my maximum count. And now set the reset so that when it hits 20, I can reset the timer back to zero. Sorry, counter back to zero. Now I write the output of the counter into a variable. And this is the variable I'm going to assign to my call. Sorry, assign to my holding register. Okay, I connect the output of the call also so that I can see the call blinking when the system is running. I give my holding register to a fixed value of 10 and then click on simulate. Simulation is working perfectly. Okay, I click on stop and then I click on compile. So I can send to my Arduino PLC. The board is Uno. And then my port is COM5. I go to IOS. It's the same. I go to communication. I select Modbus. 11500 as my speed. And then I come back to transfer. And then I click on transfer. Transfer done. We do a quick test with our Modbus master. I go to settings select my com port and then click on ok i click on connect and then we can see that i'm connected i'm at the call register and i can see my call input one blinking sorry input two blinking i go to my holding register and then i can see that the holding register i can see the counter incrementing and my fixed value at 10 go back to input register there's nothing okay I'm done I move on to the LCD and we can see that the call is blinking input status there is nothing and then input register is showing random value because we've not set it up and then the holding register we can see that QW0 is counting and then QW1 has a constant value that we set which is 10. Viewers, thank you for watching. In our next tutorial, we will do a super cool project with this interface. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.